It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to find and use a unit rate. We're going to write equivalent ratios, forming a proportion, and use cross product property to write an equation. Here's our question today. This question will have four parts. Hank has been hired to paint all the rooms in a hotel. All of the rooms in the hotel are the same size. Hank will paint three hotel rooms every seven and a half hours. Hank will paint at the same rate until the job is complete. Here's part A. We're asked how many hours will it take Hank to paint six hotel rooms, and we need to show or explain how you get your answer. So here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to determine how many hours it's going to take Hank to paint six hotel rooms. So we're talking about our rate here. The rate we're talking about is hours to paint number of rooms. So we're going to write a proportion, which is two equivalent ratios. One has been given to us above. So we know that Hank paints three hotel rooms, so three rooms every seven and a half hours. So the hours that it takes him to paint three rooms is seven and a half. So that's a rate, seven and a half hours to paint three rooms. In this problem, we've been asked how many hours, so that's unknown, the number of hours is H, and then we know that he's gonna paint six hotel rooms. So six hotel rooms in how many hours? And we've been given this rate. Because we know that all of the hotel rooms are the same size, and that he paints at the same rate for every room that he paints, we know that these ratios are going to be equal or equivalent ratios, forming a proportion. So now we're going to look at the relationship between what we do know. We know both denominators in our rate. So what do we know about 3 mathematically going to 6? 3 times 2 is 6. That means the same relationship needs to exist from the numerator to the numerator. So we know that we have to do seven and a half times two to get the number of hours for Hank to paint six rooms. Seven and a half times two gives us hours that is 15 hours. So now we can conclude it will take Hank 15 hours to paint six hotel rooms. Seven and a half hours to paint three, 15 hours to paint six. Let's move on to part B. In part B, we're asked how many hours will it take Hank to paint one hotel room? And again, we need to show or explain how we get our answer. Please pause the video now, solve part B, and then come back to see my solution. Welcome back. We're going to determine how many hours it takes Hank to paint one hotel room. When we talk about a rate to do one, that is a unit rate. So the unit rate is how much for one. Again, our rate is hours to the number of rooms that Hank is painting at the hotel. We're going to set up our equivalent ratios or our proportion. We're going to bring forward the information we know, seven and a half to three from our problem given that we also used in part A, our unknown, how many hours in our numerator, and now our denominator, the number of rooms, is going to be one hotel room. So now we're going to look at that relationship again. Mathematically, three to one. Now we're going to have to use division because one is smaller. Three divided by three is one. That means the same relationship has to exist between seven and a half and H. Seven and a half divided by three will give us our unknown H. Seven and a half divided by three gives us the number of hours of two and a half. So now we know that his rate, unit rate for painting hotel rooms, so unit rate, two and a half hours to paint one hotel room. Moving on to part C. We're asked to write an equation that can be used to find H, the number of hours it will take Hank to paint our hotel rooms. So here you go. Pause the video, write your equation, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. Again, we're going to write an equation 
to find H the number of hours that it will take Hank to paint our hotel rooms. So the purpose of this is that we wouldn't need to write proportion anymore. We would just put in any number of hotel rooms and compute the number of hours it would take him or put in how many hours he has to work and determine how many rooms he could paint in that time. We know that our unit rate from part B is two and a half hours to paint one hotel room. We're going to use our unit rate to write our equation. So we're going to start with, we want to know the number of hours that it's going to equal the number of rooms he paints multiplied by how much it takes him to do one. So one room times two and a half gives us two and a half hours. Two rooms times two and a half, five hours. Three rooms times two and a half, seven. So here we go. Seven and a half hours, sorry. And then we can rewrite this in true algebraic form. H is equal to two and a half R because we want to write our coefficient, our numerical value before our variable, and in algebra, our multiplication sign can be invisible. So these are equivalent equations. This is just in better form. Now I want to show you another way we could do this. Using the cross product property and writing our proportion, our equivalent ratios, we know that our rate is H, the hours to the number of rooms he does, and we know that our unit rate is that two and a half hours to paint one room. Cross product property states that the numerator to the denominator, the product h times one, h equal to, because h times one, one h is h, is equivalent in an equivalent ratio to the product of the denominator to the other numerator. So two and a half times r. And there you have it. Same thing. So it proves that we are correct and that to write an equation to find out how many hours it takes Hank to write paint any number of rooms is H is equal to 2.5 R. Last part. Here's part D. It will take Hank 1,200 hours to paint all the hotel rooms. What is the total number of rooms in this hotel? And we're going to show or explain how we get our answer. So here's where you pause, solve our last part, part D, and then come back to see my work. Welcome back. We're going to determine in 1200 hours how many rooms he paints in the hotel. And that will be all the rooms in the hotel. So we're going to use our equation from part C for this. We know that 1200 hours is our H, the number of hours. So here we're going to rewrite this. We're going to replace H with 12 and a half, which is going to be equal to 2.5 times R, the number of rooms that he can paint in 1200 hours. So now we need to solve for R. We don't know how many rooms that is. So to solve for R, the number of rooms in the hotel, we got to undo multiply by two and a half. To do that, we're going to divide both sides by the same value, that coefficient, because this becomes 1. Any number divided by itself is 1, giving us 1 r or r. What I do to this side of the equation, I must do to this side of the equation. So now we know that 2 and a half divided by 2 and a half is 1, giving us r equals, and now we need to divide. So go, let's set up long division. This is 1200 divided by two and a half. So we need to move our decimal point one space to the right, which means I need to do the same here. So I'm going to add my decimal point and add a zero. So let's move our decimal point. So now we're going to do 12,000 divided by 25. We're all set up. So we're going to determine 12, 25 can't go into one or to 12. So we're going to look at 120. 25 goes into 120 four times. 4 times 25 is 100. 120 subtract 100 is 20. Bring down that 0. 25 goes into 200 8 times. 8 times 25 is 200. Think about money, quarters. There's 8 quarters in $2. 200 subtract 200 is 0. Bring down that last 0, and we're going to have that go in 0 times. 25 can't go into zero. So we have our quotient of 480, which is R. 
So we know that the number of rooms in the hotel is 480 rooms. And there you have it. That is how you find and use unit rate from equivalent ratios, proportions, cross product property, and an equation. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you'll come back soon.